So, we have the space mesh, now what? Now what the fuck do we do? Um, so for this demonstration, uh, let's see, I will be using, I'll be making pants. Let's see, yeah, let's do that. Stay. Okay, so kind of to give you a basic of what's going on here, um, to control the camera, to do this, move it around, you hold down the alt key and left click and you can move that around in space. And then to reposition, uh, I guess camera tracking on the X and Y scale, or a plane, I don't know, whatever. I don't know correct terminology. Um, holding down the Alt key and middle mouse button. You go left and right, up and down. And then to zoom in and out, um, no key pressed, and just wheel the mouse like so. Okay. So, pants, right? Pants got this. Totally got this. Um, so, again, like I said, um, if you know you're not going to be mauling around a certain body part, then you probably don't even need it. So, we can hide this. So, notice that uh, the head is selected. Uh, hit H to hide it. Head, H, and we can get rid of the hands too. H, hide it. And the skeleton, you can either hide it with H or, and um, yeah, you know what, let's just delete it. Let's delete that, you don't need it. So select your body. Let's start with uh, assigning a, a Lambert material to it so we can change the transparency. Uh, right click, hold it, and then go down. Material attributes. Oh, no, no, no. Assign new material. Left click and Lambert. Let's double click that. Or, yeah, it was just single click, my bad. Okay, so we have it highlighted. And the Lambert usually goes to the end of this list here. Um, that's the attribute editor. So let's click on that. And then we can change the color. Um, it's just default, white or black. I think you can actually. Can you change the color? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I mean, you can change the color. It doesn't have to be white or black, but um, it's probably best, you know, just keep it, you know, keep it at that. <clears throat> then what we want to do is um, change, uh, kind of lower the transparency or make it transparent. And that's because once you start putting down verts and uh, making your uh, mesh, um, it's kind of confusing to see what's going on. So it just helps in the long run. Okay, so now with that highlighted, you wanna go click on this little horseshoe magnet thing, uh, make the selected object live. So now this is a live object, which means that we can um, add verts and start making polygons directly onto this um, body mesh, so it basically just serves as a reference and template. So what we want to do is open up Quadraw. It's clicking on this little hammer and cube uh, icon there. And uh, click on Quadraw. And then we can also work in Symmetry. So Symmetry might be set to off. You want to set it to um, object X. All right, cool. And then here you can see where, you can basically see where the waistline is. Right there where the uh, underoos are. 
Um, so we have Quadro on. So now we can just start uh, placing some verts. You can hold down with um, the left mouse click and just kind of move to the middle um, to make a single vert there, like so. Boom. And then you just, uh, with, you know, with the left mouse click, you just start laying down some verts. Okay. So now we will be working in quads. Um, and I want to mention that, you know, what we're doing here, we're just making a base mesh. Ultimately what we're doing right here, this is never going to see the game. This is just a base mesh that we're going to throw in a ZBrush, sculpt it, make a high poly mesh, throw that back into Maya, uh, re apologize and take that uh, low poly retop, throw it back in a ZBrush and make a new high poly um, which actually once when we make our second low poly that we actually will be using in game we'll make the UVs on that low poly um, it sounds really stupid but it just makes it that's just what works that's what works best um, so anyways so we have these uh, we have four points down so now you hold the shift key and then left click and boom you now have a uh, a polygon. Or actually, no. I don't know. It's a fucking quad. Um, so now you kind of just want to go go down the line, and make some pants. Oh, you can um, drag a vert along your live surface uh, by having it highlighted, holding the left mouse button, and then just move it. Uh, holding control, you can actually make a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, I guess an edge loop, sort of. I mean, it works the same way as an edge loop. I don't know if it actually is an edge loop. But um, yeah, holding control and then left click. And boom, now you have some new verts or some new uh, faces. So when you make a mistake, you can just hit uh, Control-Z and uh, that'll get rid of it. Okay, so now we have kind of the uh, base outline of the uh, pantalones. Um, and from here, we can just kind of start editing. We can put more, um, make more faces uh, to give it more detail so it's not so... Um, kind of off from the base. All right, so, and then another tool, uh, still with Quadra open, if you hold the Shift key, um, use the Relax tool. So it kind of smooths it out and snaps it to um, your live surface more accurately. Okay, so 
Now what we want to do is fix things like this. Um, you can see the base Mahdi mesh actually uh, extrudes past our uh, our base mesh. Um, so we don't we don't want that because that will uh, be clipping in the game, which actually um, there's a number of ways that we can resolve that. Um, the first way, which is definitely the best and what we'll ultimately be doing anyways, is um, uh, actually deleting um, the section of the body that is covered. Um, that is by far the best way to uh, limit clipping. Um, but still, we want um, we want it to be believable that um, this character, the player character, or whatever um, character, would be able to fit <laughs> into these pants. Um, so it's just kind of good practice to kind of base your uh, your clothing mod on that. Um, so a number. So let's do this. So we can turn off quad draw. And we can turn off live surface. And let's click on the body. So we have the body highlighted. Let's go down to uh, tool settings. No. Okay, channel box editor. And let's make a new layer. And this empty box here, click on that until it goes to reference. So now that it's set to reference, um, we don't have to worry about clicking on it. It makes it null so that um, we can only foc we only have to focus on um, whatever part we want to. Uh, so now we have our poly surface and let's go ahead and assign a Lambert to that as well. Assign new material. And Lambert, let's change the color. So it's much different from the uh, base body. So left click to select a, uh, a vert and hold shift down and then double click an adjacent uh, vertice. Um, and that will select the whole row. Now, of course, that doesn't always work when you get into more complex um, models and you have uh, all kinds of lines going different ways. Um, but for this purpose, you know, it's pretty, pretty parallel, and, you know, linear, I guess. <clears throat> so we have all those selected and then hit the R key. And you can actually uh, rescale it. And notice how when we're doing it that way, it only um, resizes those verts and it just gets kind of bulgy and um, looks kind of weird. So let's hit Control Z. Let's go over to the tool settings. Let's click on soft selection and let's uh, have that uh, selected. So now, when we rescale it, it moves um, the surrounding verts so that uh, it's a little smoother. Um, and then you can even make that bigger or smaller. So that's probably too, way too big for of an area. And then you can also adjust the fall off, which um, that gets kind of crazy. And um, honestly, I don't really understand the fall off. I mean, I do, but as far as um, looking at this graph, um, you just kind of have to play around with it until you understand 
what's going on there. Um, so actually, let's do this this row. One thing, once you get, um, if you have a symmetrical object, once you get towards the center and you start using the soft selection, um, especially for example, uh, the crotch area, um, that can actually begin to mess up the symmetry. Um, it's not perfect, so um, you just want to be careful with that. Um, and I mean, if the symmetry gets up, it's not a deal breaker. It just makes more work for yourself. And another method you can uh, use is, let's do, let's hit the W key. Oh, and also let's go and do this. If you hit three, the number that actually smooths out your model and Um, kind of get a preview of what the uh, smoothed out version is going to be. I mean, not kind of, I mean, that's, that's what it is. So now what you want to do, uh, okay, so I was going to close it. Um, let's do an edge loop. Let's go to mesh, mesh tools. Insert edge loop. So click on an edge, left click, drag it. Let's go right up to the edge there. Cool. Um, then just hit W to get away from that. Let's go vertex. And let's click shift, get all those. Let's turn off soft selection. Let's hit R and let's fold that in. Um, and the purpose of that is um, for when you're actually in game and you know you're moving around the camera and let's say uh, you just have pants on and if you were to look down um, you wouldn't just see empty space because <clears throat> we will be deleting uh, the body underneath the pants um, so yeah that's all that's for and then Let's go ahead and put another edge loop right here. Mesh tools. Cool. All right. And I did that because we'll be using the smoothing tool right now. Um, and in Maya, when you hit the, sm uh, the subdivide tool, um, it smooths everything out, which is cool. And it's also not cool. Um, it sucks for when you want hard straight edges. Um, so you have to make, um, <clears throat> you gotta use the uh, edge loop tool and um, make two points close to each other and uh, you'll see what happens. Um, so let's hit W, vertex. Using an old mouse here. Because my nice one finally gave out on me. Let's pull that down a little bit. There we go. And 
let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> let's do the same thing down at the bottom here with these pant legs. And actually, we can go ahead and uh, hide the body. Click on the V there, boom, it's gone. Let's go to, uh, whoops, object mode, uh, mesh, and yeah, smooth. Divisions, one, like that, it's all smoothed out. Got some, uh, some pants there. All right, so this is going to be our base mesh that we're going to throw in a ZBrush and uh, make a high poly sculpt. Cool, not bad.